There we go. Here we go. It's going to be two right on the bow. Whoa, that's nasty. And we're going to have another two. You will escape them. You're coming down my way. You're going to put two more or not? Probably too fast. But uh, he's not going to last very long. There we go. We'll finish him. Here we go. We wanted some good shots. Not going to last very long. And that's it. All over. Alright, let's get out of there. We're going to miss. We're going to miss. No, we're going to hit. We're going to hit. We're going to hit. We're going to hit. Yes. It's me. Whoa. And he got us. One for one. We're the light cruiser, so we'll probably go down. Oh, we sunk him. Welcome back, everyone. It is good to be back. And guess what? We are back with Ultimate Admirals Dreadnoughts. Let's get straight into it and continue our Italian campaign. Now, I've played ahead a few months. We're now off into December 1890. Now, we have actually quite uh, given the Austrian-Hungarian uh, basically a absolutely slaughter. As you can see, we have absolutely destroyed it. We're at 48,000 VP to 10,000. I actually asked for surrender on a few turns back. But uh, I said, let's just annihilate. Let's just go straight into it. So what we have is, as you can see, 87,000 to 53,000. So we're, we're totally destroying them as uh, the allies at the moment. But uh, the Germans still have quite a lot of ships. Actually, majority of ships when you look at heavies uh, over everybody else. Yes, the French have quite a bit, but they've got a lot of light cruisers and uh, torpedo boats. So these uh, German uh, fleet here actually sailed around here. We didn't get to battle them. So we'll see what happens if they come back. But what I'm trying to do is just build up our uh, navy and we're going to send it north. Let's uh, head over to the next turn. Oh, so we've got a small battle. So I want to get some research happening. I'll sh once we'll do this battle, we'll get it over and done with. At least you get to see a battle. Looks like a lot of torpedo boats. But I've also already noticed that my torpedo boats are very, very weak. So I need to redesign those. I am trying to wait for the uh, larger range torpedoes, but uh, it's taken a bit of time. We'll check the research in a moment, but let's get straight into it. Absolutely loving this one. This is absolutely awesome naval battle simulator. So if you don't have it, go grab it. But what I highly recommend for everybody is to please hit that uh, like button and subscribe button. I much, much appreciate it as we move towards 500 subscribers, which is really exciting. And uh, let's see how this battle goes. Alrighty. So, move up speed. We have got them in the east. Now we've got quite a lot of boats, so do we want to manually control them? Yes, we do. I don't like the avoid because it slows them down. I guess when you have it, maybe 10 or more ships, yes. Something that would be quite recommended. But uh, we're not too bad with the six that we've got on this battle, I think. What have we got? Uh, three, no, we've only got five. So it shouldn't be a battle that lasts too long. I might have to do a couple of suicide runs with one or two of these torpedo boats because they will, I think it's a heavy cruiser, isn't it, that we're against, will absolutely annihilate our torpedo boats as they approach for a torpedo run. And don't forget, they have torpedoes as well. So there's not much left of uh, the uh, Austro-Hungarian Navy. I think they've got two battleships, one or two cruisers and a few torpedo boats and that's it so if we take this one out there's pretty much no cruisers left until they get some more off the uh, production line oh they're in north let's go north oh there he is whoa 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 
Well, this is actually going to work out pretty well. I reckon we'll set it up for an aggressive uh, torpedo run. What have we got? Six torpedoes on each ship. I'm going to come straight in. You'll be able to come straight in. And you'll be able to come straight in. Oops. So you'll be able to come across the front bow of you. And then you'll also come across the front or the bow and absolutely annihilate them. Let's put on aggressive. So you should be able to now launch your, miss, your, <laughs> your missiles, I was going to say, your torpedoes. Let's go. Let's get them off. Before he launches his. Are they switch. They've turned. Put them in the water. There we go. Here we go. It's going to be two right on the bow. Whoa, that's nasty. And we're going to have another two. You will escape them. You're coming down my way. You going to put two more or not? Probably two's fast. But uh, he's not going to last very long. There we go. We'll finish him. Here we go. We wanted some good shots. Not going to last very long. And that's it. All over. We'll uh, end this before we crash into each other. And absolutely another smashing. But that was expected with the numbers we had. Uh, we still lost a transport. Alright, so we have another convoy to battle. Oh, this one's a bit more fun. Let's go and battle this one out as well. So we get two battles in this uh, episode. We'll see what happens in the next. There we go. So this is a battleship, I believe. It definitely is a very... That might just come off the production line, actually. But we're going to be very careful with our light. And it doesn't, as I said, it doesn't have that much speed. It's only got 20... Probably need a faster light cruiser than that. Now, I'm going to go heavy on the front, like there. Probably not going to be able to do much. Now, you've got two, three guns, two guns on the front. Now, no torpedo, so we can pretty much go in for the kill. As long as he doesn't put holes through us on the way there. So we'll leave it at three speed until we're getting closer. It is crazy coming into battle us with uh, our torpedoes. We're not going to be able to did him. He's, uh, oof. Those are going to rip through us. Absolutely. Let me just slow this down for a moment. Well, how, when's he going to launch? We'll come back over when he launches to just show you how powerful he is. But uh, we need to come in and just launch those torps. You're probably going to watch these shells bounce off him. If we can hit him. Here we go. Watch the shots. He was going to put holes for us. Ooh, he hit us, but ricocheted. We're on the right angle. This is looking cool. Here we go. How good does it look, though? Looks absolutely amazing. Torpedo's nearly in range. Now, we are going to be absolutely annihilated here, so... Hopefully we can get close enough in before he slows us down. Oh! Nasty. Though so we didn't get in to do those, get those torpedoes off. Came in a bit late. 
we are faster so i'm gonna i'm gonna now bring up to the speed of two two times we're not close enough to launch torpedo so what we might do Here we go, he's going to launch. Missed. But I'm going to try to use a light cruiser with the speed to get a bit more ahead. Why our heavy cruiser covers for the light cruiser to come in. By the side and launch. knew that would happen now this is it we've only got one chance get this light cruiser in before he reloads because of our come on come on come on no he's come on come on come on come on whatever run on heat let's go That's it. That's it. He missed, he missed, he missed, he missed. This is us. Come on. Gonna hurt. Launch. All right, let's get out of there. We're going to miss. We're going to miss. No, we're going to hit. We're going to hit. We're going to hit. We're going to hit. Yes. get out of there let's go let's go let's go that should slow him down for the heavy to come back in that's it you're out of action now you're not coming back in for a while all right beauty let's go Good hurt. Oh, we did some minor damage. Ooh. All right. if we can get some off that's it let's get out of there will he turn he's slow in the water we should oh he's going to cross we're going to we're going to hit we're going to hit ooh we're going to get it yes exactly where we wanted it too So, now we'll bring back our light.
We can pump some water out. We can come back around. We'll move over to heavies. Or armor pierce. We'll see if we can get inside the thick armor of this BB, but I very much doubt it. Alright, let's just speed up for a moment. Come back around. Should sink. Oh, we are. We're sinking him. He's about to go under. 2%. 1%. And it is about to finish. Nice work. The Paula absolutely destroyed him. Good job. Very good job. Two reasonable battles. Uh, and they now only have one battleship, two cruisers, and two torpedo boats. But as you can see, they're still building. They're still pumping them down. Uh, we wanted to build a torpedo boat, at least on this uh, episode. So we're going to go to ship build. And we're going to go, no, we're going to go to a torpedo. So let's build from scratch. And just, now I think we need a rear gun. So where do we put? Let's just start with something in the middle here. We know we need look, torpedo. I like to have two, but do we just build one? Still the, uh, I think it's still the, let's put this on deck for a moment. Still only the 15 inch, so we don't have anything new tech yet. So do we just go one and save that weight? We put it there, but then if we put a gun there, that's going to lessen. Yeah, okay. Put another four inch there. 225 weight. We forgot something, did only the funnels. can fire over the top so I'm gonna put the top on the back can't fire over it uh, do we need the torpedo to fire in the rear probably not We're at 246 weights. Funnel capacity. Two forty eight. We can now keep the bulkheads at maximum. Do we have maximum on we did? Speed. We see we've got much. See, we've dropped our oh, 27. So we can probably pump his speed up a bit. Considerably. And if we're coming in front, why don't we put up our... Since we're coming full on front in, if we can increase, oh, we can't increase it. Okay. All right, but can't. So let's see if we can increase this. Okay, we can't. 
We're only going to be carrying four torps. But on two torpedo tubes, so that should be okay. But now we've got two heavy guns rather than light, or heavier four-inch guns. Uh, everything else is fine. Uh, let's just uh, put it down. We want some on the piercing if we go against uh, transports. Oh, we don't even need transports. Heat's, heat's plenty. I don't think there's anything else here we can do. Standard shell size for those. Let's wait. I suppose we can do heavies. Got plenty of ammo. Engine, we haven't done any upgrades yet. So we're pretty cool there. Not much we can do. We could drop the speed down a tad. Okay. So we should potentially put you lower. Gonna lower. So again, if we uh, what is it again? A taller and because we a larger hull is less stable. All right. So what? Well, okay. So the range gets less, but it's harder to hit. We're still within. We can make. 75. No, it's not going to let us. There isn't going to let us. That's fine. Making our boat a bit bigger. Actually, quite a bit bigger. But we could potentially. We did that. Alright, so that actually isn't too bad. We can actually now afford to go and not just missed out on increasing. So it's lower to the water, it's longer, it's uh, not as wide. So longer has given us more of a, been more of a target. Engine efficiency is not too bad. We've got too much in there. Hmm. Do we, do we, do we, do we put more weight? We got pitch though. Wait, so if we move you up here, all right, that's a bit better. A bit better, rolls a bit less. Still at 31.
I'm gonna go with that. We jump that up to standard. Bring that down. All right, we'll go with that. Uh, yes. Save design. Name is the Kanga. Oh, we got the Kanga. We don't have the Kanga. Kanga class. There we go. I won't do the kangaroo, but we'll do the Kanga. Go hopping mad. Let's go. Let's uh, save design and we'll see how this uh, bad boy works out. Let's get into another battle, huh? Let's build a couple of these. It's a difference in price, actually cheaper. Because I don't have. I don't think this one's gonna. We'll see how it works out. Alright, build a ship. We're gonna build five of you. And then we'll have to upgrade them later with the uh, better torpedoes. Alright. We're going to skip ahead. Oh, as I forgot to tell you guys. So we're researching. We've got uh, engine, steam compound engine. The steam engine is propulsion using technology composite. And boilers. We're smashing ahead with those. Uh, actually, let's go check those torpedoes out. Good, 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 good. They're not far away. And torpedo size is only four months away. Torpedo tubes. So we're actually doing well. And 19th century warships is what we're steaming towards. So we can take on the Germans. All right, so there we go. Uh, we are absolutely smashing Austro-Hungarian Empire. They suffers from economic stagnation. Well done, guys. We've absolutely annihilated them. Uh, and as you can see, oh, what's this? Ahead of them, is suddenly replaced by Maximilian and has recent phase and overall poor management must have seen been the cause. I just got the better out of him. Okay they built anything they've built a light cruiser all right so there's been an event they're, they're sending him out by himself against us oh they've got another ship out here torpedo boat out here they're just going in for suicide and how we need to actually build up what have we got fleet wise Fleet wise, okay, we've just got those. We've got a couple of battleships coming off the a lot of battleships coming off the production line. Here we go. Finance 1.4, so going up. We're at 52% to get the 1400 tonnage. Uh, and we're now we're look at our prestige, honorable, respected. Obviously, they're getting annihilated, but uh, I still think the Germans are, are, are giving the British and the French a, a bit of a a good battle out here like they still got where was uh oh no it looks like they might have lost some no they haven't lost any battleships all right let's go next uh turn if any battles come up with uh austro-hungarian well, it's, it's going to be minor well this one's taken a while that was uh oh peace treaty well, let's agree. They've asked for a peace treaty. Uh, we will agree to that. All right, here we go into the battle. Let's see how it all works out. Had a couple of minor losses, unfortunately. So I've decided to jump into this battle so you guys can get a bit of action before I finish the episode. This one's actually going to be a tough one. We are going up against the uh, heavy cruiser. Now, I thought we signed a peace deal, so I don't know why we're still at war. All right, here we go. We'll keep it on three for a moment. He is a 19, so he's not, hasn't got the speed. Right, 
we're out of there. Torpedo boat wasn't fast enough to catch him on that turn. So Calypso is now going to hopefully pump out that water. And we've got front torps on this light cruiser. We're getting close enough. goal now let's bring you back to come around and launch another one out it's gonna be a suicide run isn't it it's a bit stupid move by gammy whoa and he got us one for one we're the light cruiser, so we'll probably go down. Oh, we sunk him. And he sunk us. We did it. We did it. We absolutely annihilated him. That was a bit of a suicide run. And uh, we probably should have sunk then as well. But uh, as you can see, we didn't. <laughs> but uh, we got very close to. All right. Beautiful. We're going to finish it up there folks thank you for joining me on another amazing episode they've actually gone up a bit uh, the germans must have won a major battle definitely wouldn't be this uh, lonesome torpedo boat uh or this cruiser so it must be somewhere else that they've won some major battles but uh all good we're still waiting we still haven't uh we lost some battle we lost some battles there sorry guys we have uh Drop the ball a little bit. But uh, as you can see, that it must have reset. We're meant to be at peace, right? So that's bizarre. With the uh, Austro-Hungarian Empire. But uh, well, it is what it is. We mustn't be far from getting... Yes, torpedo sizes are just around the corner. Maybe we should have waited for those torpedo boats. But that's cool. We can refit those. All right. We're going to leave it there. We're going to leave it in our... Uh, we're going to show off our torpedo boat. Super long torpedo boat, I should say. But this is our new ship, which will be coming off the line. And we will then upgrade the two torpedo tubes to the larger size torpedoes, which will give us a bigger range over our enemy. But thanks, everyone. I appreciate you all watching. Thanks a lot. And like always, I will see you on the other side.